Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. There are so many environment problems in the world today. Do you think we can really solve them all or will destroy the world? I hope that world leaders can get together and agree on a plan of action. But I doubt it'll happen before it's too late. We need to solve the problem of air pollution before we destroy the atmosphere. There's lots of clean, modern technology, but companies in developed countries say it's expensive. Developing countries. Everyone is looking at the issue in the short term, rather than the long term. It's the same with the destruction of the rainforests. Countries and companies just want the wood. They're not thinking a. In other parts of the world, especially in Africa, there is a problem with desertification. Climate change and over farming are causing farmland to turn into desert. It means that people cannot grow e. It also means that people sometimes fight over the farmland that remains. Damaging the environment actually leads to conflict between people. Have you ever thought about joining an organization committed to protecting the environment? You could get involved with projects to improve the environment. I think I'd like to do that. I could take the things I learn here back to my country when I have finished my studies. Have you heard the news? I haven't heard anything. Deborah had her baby last week. Nobody told me. I thought you heard. I really wasn't told anything. She was a cute eight pounds six ounces. Wow, how exciting. I know, you should really go and see her and the baby. Of course I will. I just wanted to let you know what happened. I appreciate that. Okay. So who are we going to invite to our dinner party? Well, we have the Thompsons, the Greens, and the Anderson. About 12 people total. Don't forget my friend Andy from the office. He has nothing to do on Friday, so I invited him over. But that makes 13 people. We can't have 13 people for dinner on Friday. Why can't we? It's an old superstition. If we have 13 people at the table, then it means bad luck. Can Andy bring a date? I'm not sure. He just broke up with his girlfriend recently. And I don't think he's in the mood to start again so soon. But we can't have 13 for dinner. I think you're making a mountain out of a molehill. It's only a superstition. It really doesn't mean anything. Absolutely not. I refuse to have 13 people for dinner on Friday. Okay. Okay. I'll ask my sister to come. That way we'll have 14 for dinner. That's better. Rose, the weekend is coming. Let's discuss what we will do. What about going to the zoo on Saturday and to the park on Sunday? Sounds good. But on Saturday there's a football final. Then, what shall we do on Sunday? Let me see. We can visit the country. We haven't done that for such a long time. Good idea. I'll go shopping in one of the department stores nearby. We'll go to the zoo and the park another time. After all, we can put that off. Okay. I'm going on a guided tour in the mountain. You'll see the world-famous Magnificent Waterfall. I like the sight and the sound. It worked on me like a magic when I was a child. 
Your dream will come true. It's really breathtaking. Hi Linda. This is Todd. Todd, good to hear from you. I just wanted to tell you what a great time I had with you at the movies last week. Me too, Todd. Thanks for suggesting that great movie. I also enjoyed it and was wondering if you would like to go for a hike in the mountains with me on Saturday. I would love to join you on a hike. Could I maybe bring a picnic lunch for us to eat on the trail? Sure, Linda. That's a great suggestion. Fine then. What time are we going to leave? I was thinking maybe 9 o'clock or so, so that we could get started before the heat gets too bad. 9 would be perfect. I'll see you then. How old are you? 9 but I'll be 10 on May 1st. When is your birthday? I'm older than you. I'll be 10 on April 14th. Are you going to have a birthday party? Maybe. I'll have to ask my mother. Look at the cloud. It's going to rain. Let's go quickly. How do you feel about teaching my friend how to read? How old is your friend and why doesn't he know how to read? He's 78 and he's a new emigrant from South America and he's never been to school. Does he even know how to speak English? No, but I thought that you could start with reading and then go from there. That was very thoughtful of you to volunteer me. Come on. You're great at teaching and I know you will love him. He's adorable. Oh, all right. Have him come over here for dinner. But you get to make dinner. Um, what will you do this weekend? How about a movie? We haven't done that for a while. A movie? Sure. Do you know what's on right now? No. Why don't you check out the newspaper? Okay. Maybe you should invite your sister along, too. Holly, I just heard some terrible news. Me, too. I overheard someone say Taylor has a brain tumor. What? No. I heard that he has stomach cancer. His ex-girlfriend said it. That could explain all his stomach aches. He's trying to hide it from us. Maybe that's why he didn't show up at the potluck. Have you seen him? No, but someone said he was in the men's room puking. Follow me. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.